the home of Australian air checks, the radioantenna.com. Thousand Sydney siders waking up with him every day. But that early morning success might be about to end. Uncle Doug, as he calls himself, is considering giving radio away to take up a more visible career in media. Tracy Preston reports. This man is not a dentist. Mm -hmm. This is Doug. Mm. So he actually can show you his face. Mm. It's just that we'd rather not. Mm. It's uh, eight minutes to eight. Let He's rude. Band. And on the line, Regendra Desai, I drink my own urine, Prasad, the Black Piston of Bronte Nabob. He's vulgar. A lady bending forward. Mm. He impersonates women. You think your boyfriend's breast fondling is a little on the rough side. And he's laughing yeah, all the way right. to the bank. <laughs> this sort of behaviour isn't for everyone, but 18 to 39 year olds can't get enough of him. They say when Doug Mulray sneezes, 2 Triple M catches a cold. Two. He's been sneezing a lot lately. In I'm fact, in after 11 years of 4am starts, Uncle Doug reckons it's time to have breakfast in bed. I think Bob Hudson years ago said when he was doing breakfast at the ABC, if God had meant him to get up at quarter past four, he would have been born a baker. That's a perfectly reasonable assessment of how unnatural it is to do this job. Look, he's really good now. He used to get really upset a lot and resign all the time, but uh, he seems to be a lot more happy with his life now. So, Program uh, manager he's, Charlie he's Fox great, has mate. talked him out of retiring on more than one occasion. This time, however, it's, it's not, he's got a job on his hands. He, really is. he is just really tired. He, he is, uh, you see, a lot of people don't realise how hard the guy works. You know, they think, oh, you know, he comes on, he does you know, three hours every day, uh, you know, and he earns a lot of money for that. But I tell you, I wouldn't do his job for any money in the world. Yeah. Yes, I think I know what you're trying to say, you perverted little prince, you. No one doubts that Triple M's number one position on the airwaves is based largely on Doug Mulray. He's the author and star of their best TV campaigns. Doug Mulray does strange things to people's heads. Triple M. I am Madam Zender, and I have seen the future of Breakfast Radio, and it is Doug Mulray on... Triple M. Feel the power of love flow. Put your hands on the radio, friend. Make that commitment now. If the money is right, you might be seeing a lot more of Reverend Dr. Doug and his irreverent brand of humour later this year. Television has been a graveyard for radio stars in the past. Always have only one safe breakfast partner. Always. But suggest that to Doug and you get this. You, you mean I could violate my credibility with the radio audience by being appalling on television. Is that what you're saying, Tracy? No, I'm not saying you that. bitch. <laughs> I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that, you know... <laughs> she is saying that. I'm not, no. You are. No, I'm not. You say, are not, are too. Are. This isn't an argument. You're I'm a not. serious journalist and I'm a media personality. Have a fabulous weekend. Remember the best-off show on the air tomorrow between 9 and 10. Uh, for now, I'll uh, cop you later. <laughs> Tracy Preston, Sydney Extra. <laughs>